What's up? This is Squad 2440. We're well, following 7270 Mod Review. Today we'll be taking a look at an old car, old pickup truck, cab over semi, a few semi trailers, tractor, and an auger wagon. Up first, we'll be taking a look at a 1971 Plymouth Cuda. This is one very cool car. As you guys can see, the paint color is red with a white stripe going down the side, which is pretty cool. Up front, you guys can see it does have a hood vent, very nicely done on the hood latches, and then you guys can see pretty cool grill with very detailed headlights. As you come around to the side, it does have chrome wheels, which is pretty cool. A chrome door latch, which is awesome. The inside already looks nice. And then around back, you guys can see it does have a pretty big wing spoiler and awesome looking back with dual exhaust, which is pretty cool. Once we hop on the inside, this has a top speed of 93 miles per hour. All of the turn signals work very nicely done. A lot of detail went into this. And I believe that this mod was converted to FS15 from FS7. And then as you guys can see it looks pretty cool and with keypad 8 you could turn on the those fog lights. On the inside view you guys can see working steering wheel, working mirrors and the gauges do work which is pretty cool and it also shows you that the turn signals are working. So we'll be taking this for a spin seeing how this handles and I'm very excited that more old cars are coming into the game. I really do like featuring these in some pretty cool videos like we did a car show a few weeks ago camping which was a lot of fun. All of the links will be down below in the description. Overall this car handles very good and I mean the engine sounds everything like that. The turning is on point and overall one very fast old car. We'll be making our way back to look at the next old vehicle of the day which is a 1985 Ford F-150. It looks pretty cool you guys can see it looks like there's a little bit of a lift kit. It is a single cab long bed which is pretty cool. Up front you guys can see a lot of detail. I really do like the bumper, awesome headlights and a few other things like that. As you guys can see on the side the mirrors look pretty good and I do like this darker paint job. Looks pretty cool. Uh, awesome looking wheels. The uh, suspension looks pretty cool. Bumper pull hitch and looks like no uh, gooseneck hitch or fifth wheel but as you guys can see it does say Ford on the back very nicely done once we hop in the inside you guys can see it does have a great bed liner which is pretty cool all of the lights do work looks like they do need to be kind of worked on the turn signals wise but as you guys can see this looks pretty cool and up front all of the lights do work so we'll kind of uh, disable that turn signal and we'll be taking a look at the other side and overall that looks pretty cool now on the inside view working steering wheel and very nicely done on the dash it looks like this is actually a Ranger not exactly Exactly sure which one it is because the files do say F-150 but in game it says Ranger but overall this is one very cool truck with a top speed of 59 miles per hour so we'll be taking this for a spin this truck does have decent speed and overall really good handling I really do like these old trucks and we'll be featuring these in some pretty cool videos coming up Next up, we'll be taking a look at a cab over twin steer semi truck. As you guys can see, this is one very nicely done truck. Looks like it does have fog lights. Very nicely done. Looks like a big uh, water cooler over there, which is pretty cool. Does have a lot of mirrors, two tone paint, which is pretty cool. You could actually uh, color change those, which is awesome. And take a look at these wheels. Very nicely done. The engine is around back, which is pretty cool. And looks like you could take a few things off. You could actually put chains on the wheels, open up the door from the outside. It looks like we can only put the chains to one of the wheels, which is a little interesting, but that's pretty cool. And as you guys can see, a lot of detail all the way around. Pretty large gas tank, and like I was saying, twin steer and a hitch in the back. Looks like three different heights, which is pretty cool, and it does have pretty small lighting there. Once we hop on the inside, you guys can see it does have four exhausts out of the top. That is pretty cool. It does have working turn signals, as you guys can see. Very nicely done on all of the lights. And you could uh, kind of close and open the door. So we kind of closing that door with the IC and everything does work. It does have a top speed of 49 miles per hour. And then on the inside view, when you do press space, you could open up the IC, which kind of will uh, put down the window, close the door, and you could do that to the other side, which is pretty cool. I really do like this a lot. This is one very detailed truck and it has working gauges, which is also pretty cool. So as you guys can see, one very nicely done truck. We'll be taking this for a spin and seeing how it handles. Now it looks like you could also do a few things with the mouse controls, which is pretty cool, but it looks like nothing really is moving. So we'll be taking this for a spin. If you do have any cool video ideas with all of these mods, let me know down below in the comments. This is one very cool truck. I do like it a lot, and overall it looks pretty cool. Alright, so we'll be kind of turning around over here. As you guys can see, the turning radius is not the best. 
but it still does turn in it is a cab over which is pretty cool and overall one very detailed uh, inside view and actually has a pretty cool mirror up front to show you how far you are from things which is pretty cool but up next we'll be taking a look at a few semi trailers as you guys can see we got two different ones here which is pretty cool the first one we have is a flathead red in color beacon lights on the side which is pretty cool and it looks like there's a lot of straps all the way down it which is pretty cool and I mean as you guys can see it looks awesome in the back it does have protection on the tail lights which is very helpful in making sure that you will not have to replace them and it also has working jacks which is pretty cool so we'll be backing up and attaching to these and we'll be using this semi truck as you guys can see we do have it attached now to the truck all of the lights seem to be working which is pretty cool LED turn signals in the back and all of the lights in the back are LED it does have reverse lights four beacons on it which is pretty cool and you could also lock the load which is a pretty helpful uh, feature and overall one very cool trailer tri axle very large and we'll definitely be using this in some pretty cool videos and then up next we'll be taking a look at another flatbed trailer this time it has a working lift on it so we'll be attaching them we'll kind of uh, take a walk around and uh, see what this has to offer so as you guys can see, once you do attach, there's many different things you could do. So we're going to pull forward here, and with a keypad 8 and 9, you could put out the stabilizers, which is pretty cool. I really do like that, how you could get a crane. Next up, you could turn on strobes, which is pretty cool. It does have strobes in the back, it looks like. And as you guys can see, this just looks awesome in the back. That looks pretty cool. And then as you guys can see, the crane does work. We'll take a look, and it also slides around. So that's pretty cool, how you can move all over the trailer. And it does have a pretty large hook, as you guys can see. So we'll kind of change through the camera views. Looks like you can't really change to those, but take a look at this trailer. One very nicely done trailer triaxle, and it does also have straps, which is a pretty cool feature. And I mean, this looks awesome. So we're kind of turning off this semi truck, and next up, we'll be taking a look at a John Deere tractor. As you guys can see, it's an older tractor. It's a John Deere 4955. Very nicely done. Has some pretty large weights in the front. Now you could get this with twin wheels, which is pretty cool. But I really do like this a lot. So we're we'll hopping on the inside. Top speed of 20. 29 miles per hour does have turn signals up top all the lights do work on this which is pretty cool there is many different engine options a few other things like that now on the inside view pretty nicely done it does have a digital speed for us which is pretty cool very detailed and it also does have IC so once we press it, it looks like you could open up the door which is pretty cool we'll kind of come around here and it looks like uh, we could also open up this window to give us more air and then around back looks like we could do it once more with that handle and as you guys can see all of them do work very very, very nicely done on this tractor and it looks like you could do that one so there's a lot of different windows you could do but very nicely done and up next we'll be taking a look at an auger wagon this is what you use to empty the harvester and then you bring this over to the side of the road where a semi is waiting with a grain trailer that way you do not drive that onto their farm fields but as you guys can see this is one very large auger wagon it does lift up which we'll be demonstrating and we actually are featuring this in our farming series but it does come with tracks or an option for wheels which is pretty cool we'll be hopping in the John Deere tractor and we'll be attaching as you guys can see, like I was saying, it's a very, very large one. The jack does work. Everything works on this. It does have working lights, which is pretty cool. When we kind of come out to this, when you do press pipe out, it will raise us all the way up. Take a look at that, guys. It lifts it up vertically and a little bit further away, which is pretty cool. And then it starts to unload. So that is one very, very cool feature. I like this a lot, and it's actually pretty cool how you... Uh, just drive right up against the trailer and it unloads in, which is awesome. So we'll kind of uh, be lowering that down, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and subscribe for more.